Laudetur Jesus Christus, praised be Jesus Christ. Welcome to the live broadcast coming to you live from uh, St. Peter's Square on this Sunday, the second Sunday of Easter. We are celebrating the Divine Mercy Sunday, the second Sunday of Easter, also known as Divine Mercy Sunday, is a significant day within the Easter octave. It emphasizes the mercy of God as revealed through Jesus Christ. And as believers, we are invited this Sunday to deepen our understanding of God's merciful love. In just a few moments, Pope Francis will come to the window of the Apostolic Palace and greet us before praying the traditional Regina Celli at noon. From wherever you are joining us on behalf of Vatican Media, I would like to welcome you to this live broadcast. Some of you may be joining us through various Vatican Media channels, the Vatican News app or the Radio Vaticano app, the Vatican News web portal or Vatican News English YouTube channel or our Facebook live feed. To all of you joining us through television, welcome in a special way to those of you joining us through EWTN TV, Catholic Faith Network in America, Salt and Light Television, Shalom World Televisions Network USA, at Madarshan TV, Catholic TV, and then to those of you joining us through radio, especially those listening through Radio Maria England, Luminous Radio India, Radio Maria Papua New Guinea, and all of you joining us through radio stations, local audiences and radio broadcasts, or those of you picking up the shortwave transmission, and to all of you joining through other internet sites and digital platforms throughout the world, a warm welcome to you all. My name is Bonga Majola and it is with pleasure and great joy to provide you with the English language translation for this, our weekly appointment with the Holy Father Pope Francis for the traditional prayer of the Regina Celi. As we can see on our screens, those who are following us on TV, it's a beautiful morning here in Rome. Uh, almost there is almost no single cloud on the sky it's it's blue it's nice and warm we are celebrating the second Sunday of Easter the Divine Mercy Sunday as I mentioned earlier it falls within the Easter octave which is the eighth day period following Easter Sunday we know that the Easter octave is a special time in the liturgical calendar of the Catholic Church it begins on Easter Sunday and concludes on the second Sunday of Easter the Divine Mercy Sunday the Easter Octave is considered an extension of the joy and celebration of Easter Sunday. Each day within the Octave is treated as a solemnity, with the Gloria being sung or recited at Masses and the Easter candle being lit. The Octave emphasizes the significance of the Resurrection and allows for a prolonged period of reflection on its meaning for believers. The number of people who have gathered, as you can see on your screens, um, a very enthusiastic crowd, and we will soon joining them. We'll soon be joining them as we welcome our Holy Father Pope Francis, who will appear on the window there. Um, that is slowly coming close to us, and we see the curtain being drawn, and the Holy Father is ready, and we get ready then to welcome his message, his catechesis, as he addresses us on this uh, Divine Mercy Sunday. And there comes the Holy Father. Cari fratelli e sorelle, buona domenica. Dear brothers and sisters, a happy Sunday to you. Buona domenica di Pasqua, intotolata da San Giovanni Paolo II. Today, the second Sunday of Easter, dedicated by St. John Paul II to Divine Mercy, the Gospel tells us that by believing in Jesus, Son of God, we can have life in His name. To have life, Cosa what does it mean? Tutti avere vita. We all Ma want to have life, modi, but there are various modi. ways of having it. Per esempio, there are those who reduce existence to a frenetic race, to enjoy and possess many things, to eat and drink, 
to enjoy themselves, to accumulate money and objects, to feel strong and new emotions and so on. It is a road that at first sight seems pleasurable, but which does not satiate the heart. It is not in this way that one has life. Because following the path of pleasure and power, one does not find happiness. Indeed, many aspects of existence remain unanswered, such as love, the inevitable experiences of pain, of limitations and of death. And then the dream we all have in common remains unfulfilled. The hope of living forever, of being loved without limit. Today, the Gospel says that this fullness of life to which every one of us is called is realized in Jesus. It's Jesus who gave us the fullness of life. But how can one gain access to it? How can one experience it? Let us look at what happened to the disciples in the Gospel. They are going through the most tragic moment in life. After the days of passion, they shut themselves away in the upper room, afraid and discouraged. The reason, the reason one comes to them and shows them his wounds. They were the signs of suffering and pain. They could stir feelings of guilt, yet with Jesus they become channels of mercy and forgiveness. In this way, the disciples see and touch with their hands the effect that with Jesus life wins, death and sin are defeated, and they receive the gift of His Spirit, which gives them a new life as beloved sons imbued with joy, love and hope. I ask one thing, do you people, do you have hope? Each one of us, ask yourself, how is my hope? How is it going? This is how to have every day. This is how to have life every day. It is enough to fix one's eyes on the crucified and risen Jesus, encountering Him in the sacraments and in prayer, recognizing that He is present, believing in Him, letting oneself be touched by His grace and guided by His example, experiencing the joy of loving like Him. Every living encounter, living encounter with Jesus enables us to have more life. It is Him who is looking for us. We have to open our hearts to encounter Him. Let us ask ourselves then, do I believe in the power of the resurrection of Jesus? in his victory over sin, over fear and death? Do I let myself be drawn into a relationship with him? And do I let myself be prompted by him to love my brothers and sisters and to hope every day? Each one of us, think of this. May Mary help us to have ever greater faith in the risen Jesus, to have life, and to spread the joy of Easter. Regina Celi letare, Alleluia. Quia que me luisti portare, Alleluia. Resurresi sicudixit, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Gaude letare, Virgo Maria, Alleluia. Quia surrexi Dominus Dere, Alleluia. Deus, qui per resurrezione in filitui Domini Iesu Christi, mundum letificare dignatus est, Presta questumus, operius genetricem, Virgen Mariam, perpetua capiamus gaudia vite, per Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Santo. Sicuterat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Profidevo defuntis, requiem eternam donais Domine. Et us perpetua luciateis. Requiejant in pace. Amen. Sindomen Domine Benedictum. Aiutorium nostro in nomine Domini. Qui fecit cielo met terra. Benedica Dios, Omnipotens Deus, Pater, Fili, Espíritu Santi. Amen.
Cari fratelli e sorelle, dear brothers and sisters, I would like to recall in my mind and in my prayers a number of people who died in South Africa on a bus accident a few days ago. Let us pray for these people and for their families. Yesterday was an international day for, for sport and for the development in peace. We all know how important it is in educating um, a community that is open and solidar in solidarity without prejudice uh, and sports help with this. And to do that, it is important to grow in that. It's not just about winning, uh, but we have to develop sport in a way that it develops fraternity and friendship. We continue to pray for peace, a just peace, a, lo a long life living peace, especially for the people of Ukraine, for the Palestine, for Israel. May the Spirit of the risen Lord illuminate and sustain all those who continue to work uh, to diminish uh, this tension and allowing the chest which allows negotiations to be possible. May the Lord give all those who lead, uh, the leaders, to give them a possibility to pause a little bit and enter into negotiations. I greet all of you, uh, pilgrims from Rome, from Italy, and from different countries in a particular way, uh, the students of a Catholic school from uh, Delville. And then the young people from Spain and then different groups of prayer who cultivate the spirit of uh, divine mercy who have come from uh, the, the sanctuary of the Holy Spirit of Sassia here in Rome and they are here. I greet as well. I gruppi Acli di Creti, participants to the International Conference for the Abolition of Surrogacy, and the faithful from Medugno, from Algamo, the alunni della scuola San Giuseppe di Bassano del student from the school of uh, St. Joseph of Grappa and uh, the group of the Confermandi, like strong Saluto tanti polacchi. and I greet many Polish, I can see many flags that are here in the square different groups from Poland and then I wish all of you a blessed Sunday and please don't forget to pray for me I have a good lunch and please uh, arrivederci see you again and that's how then the Holy Father concludes this uh, uh, noonday prayer the regional Chedi on this the second Sunday of uh, Easter and the Pope after the Angelus after his catechesis he remembered um, and about 48 people who died in South Africa on a bus accident they were pilgrims from Botswana going to South Africa um, in a town called Moria about 400 kilometers from Johannesburg and the father the Holy Father prayed for these 45 people who died in a one year year uh, eight year old girl uh, survived from this accident and he invited us to continue to pray for the repose of their souls he remembered as well the international day of sport development and peace and then he great uh, different groups especially those gathering at an international conference for the abolition of surrogacy and then we continue to pray for peace in those affected countries as the holy father uh, mentioned them uh, ukraine palestine um, Palestine and Israel and, and many others. This then ends this live broadcast of the recitation of the noonday Regina Celi with Pope Francis here at St. Peter's Square on the second, second Sunday of Easter, the Divine Mercy Sunday. Please visit the Vatican News web portal, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube accounts for coverage of today's uh, Regina Celi and other Vatican and world news. On behalf of uh, Vatican Media, my name is Bonga Majola. It's been a great joy to be with you today. And I wish you all a blessed Sunday. Arrivederci e buona domenica. Praised be Jesus Christ, laudetur Jesus Christus.